I've got a real bargain for you today. The Snowform Cannon that works well with accessories for around £10. Welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Snowform Cannon that I bought recently on eBay for just under £10. You'll be amazed at the quality of this thing for what it costs. The Foam Cannon came from a UK supplier so I didn't have to wait weeks for it to be shipped across. You can see though it is Chinese. It's got this Pucker brand. When you open it up, we've got the nozzle itself. We'll take a closer look at that later. There's a bag containing the accessories. Again, we'll open that up and have a look at it. And the plastic tank which attaches to the nozzle. The accessories bag contains a microfiber cloth, a noodle mitt, the chamois leather, and also a pad for a plain polish. They're not market leading products by any stretch of the imagination, but they're all usable. The best of the four products is the microfiber cloth. It's not bad quality actually, and it's uh, double sided. The main product though is the foam cannon, isn't it? So if we take a look at that in more detail, we've got the tank itself. You can see this is graduated. It's a one litre tank and there's a mark every 100 millilitres. The opening on the top of the tank is narrow, so you'll need either a funnel, a steady hand or a jug to fill it. The nozzle itself looks quite well made. It's made from brass and plastic. On the top, there's the dial for adjusting the foam concentration. This allows you to vary the thickness of the foam. And at the back, we've got the bayonet fittings for connecting to a Karcher K series pressure washer. On the bottom of the nozzle, we've got the barbed fitting for connecting the tube that goes into the tank and the threaded connection for attaching to the tank. And at the front, this nozzle turns and it allows you to open and close these two jaws, which will adjust the fan width. So you need it tight for a wide fan and the wider you get, the narrower the fan becomes. One thing you can't do, which you can do on more expensive foam nozzles, is adjust the orientation of the fan. In this case, a vertical fan is your only option. To put it all together, you take the supplied silicone rubber tube and push it onto the barbed fitting on the bottom of the nozzle. More expensive foam cannons like the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro do have filters on the bottom of these inlet tubes, but in this case, that's not an option. Okay, and then we screw the nozzle onto the top of the tank like so. To test this foam cannon, I'm going to use Auto Glim's Polar Blast Snow Foam. We're going to use a, a 5 to 1 ratio water to snow foam as recommended by Auto Glim. And we're going to use a Karcher K4 pressure washer. This is a 130 bar pressure washer. The dial on the top of the foam cannon was set to maximum and the front nozzle was adjusted so that the jaws were a couple of millimetres apart. So let's see what it can do. As you can see, coverage was good and the foam was reasonably thick. If we zoom in, you can see it's adhering well. Now, obviously, you can get a thicker foam by using a greater concentration of foam in your mix, but it's not bad. I then did the rest of the car, and if we pan round, you can see that coverage was fairly consistent. Nice thick foam. It's adhered well, and to be fair, I think this foam cannon has done a pretty good job. Foam's not as thick as you'd get from a better foam cannon, like the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro, but that's a lot more expensive than this model. So would I recommend this eBay foam cannon? Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. For the cost, it's absolutely brilliant. It'd be good value without the accessories, but with them, it's a ridiculous price. If you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below. I've got absolutely no link with this company, by the way. This is a totally independent review. I was just so impressed with this that I thought I had to share it with you. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. I'll see you soon.